Jed's talking to me, but I'm not listening. Where am I? I'm at Halnaka Windmill. Say that again. Halnaka. I love that word. What a word. Halnaka. Just going to say it again. Halnaka. Let's do this. Okay, welcome to another video. Today I'm obviously at Halnaka. If you didn't know from uh, the title of this video, for, for sure, you do know now because I've said the word Halnaka more times than I can count on my fingers because it's such a good word. Anyway, we're here for the sunset. Let me point this at the sky so you get some kind of idea of what it's doing. We've got some really, really interesting light rays. We're waiting for the sunset. We're kind of hoping that that cloud that the sun is in at the moment is going to go that way quite a bit so we get a decent ish sunset but we're not just here for the sunset we've got about an hour and a half of that we're also here for the moonrise which is going to be over there kind of you got in the distance you got all the wind turbines out in the in the sea uh, down by brighton that's kind of where the sun is the, sorry the moon is going to rise and it's going to be quite a big moon so if we wait a little while a little while with some really big lenses that let that can I pick that up please? Is that alright? With a lens like this puppy ha <laughs> which is Jed's isn't mine unfortunately uh, that's a 200 to 600 Sony that thing is going to be a beast and we're going to get the moon rising behind Halnaka although the angle is going to be a bit weird because we're going to have to be kind of the other side of the sails and they're going to be kind of sliced on I don't know until the moon rises a little bit because we can't get our actual moon rise because we're on a hill it's going to be dead we're going to be down the other side of that hill moon's going to be rising down this the side of this hill you can see where I'm going with that we're not going to see it immediately we're probably going to see it maybe in 20 minutes half an hour I may have to do two shots but the good thing is I'm going to be shooting that with the a7r4 now that is going to be its own video and I'm looking forward to that also tonight I've got with me a lots and lots of lights I'm going to be doing some light painting and that's going to be another video too so i'm doing quite a few videos tonight obviously this is the vlog you're going to see it behind the scenes of most of the stuff that's going on tonight which is fantastic mainly before the sun goes down because video up here is not going to be that viable once the sun has gone down but i'm going to try and get you as much as possible stick with us and uh yeah i'm going to start showing you some pictures i've got already of the sun rays and then we'll go from there get some more pictures of bits and pieces i might do a time lapse i don't know yet i don't know if i've got time to do a time lapse Get it? Uh, only because, only because I want the camera set up for the moon rise, which is going to be in about 45 minutes, give or take. Anyway, let's get on this and I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye. So you know me, I come up here for one composition. We may not get the sun setting on the horizon, but look at that sky. Look if I can do that. Oh, that's pretty amazing. I'm actually doing a time lapse. So wait around for that. You'll see the time lapse shortly. See that going off there every five seconds. There's not a huge amount of movement in the sky, so I'm doing five second uh, intervals. Uh, so hopefully, I get quite a bit of movement overall in the uh, in the time lapse i won't know until i get back to the computer it's hard to tell by eye it doesn't look like it's going very fast and it also looks like we're probably not going to get a, a sunset to be fair so um, yeah it's one of them things unfortunately but we will get a moon rise now right out there the moon's going to be rising over there and i'm going to be getting moon rise i'm going to be getting uh, some shots from the other side of this which i'm going to show you in a second a fingers crossed we're going to get some decent shots of the moon rising behind this thing. Uh, Jed's thankfully going to lend me his uh, 200 to 600, uh, which I'm going to do another video about. So that'll be another video. So expect some awesome things from that, hopefully. Ooh! And uh, yeah, we're going to carry on. So here is the time lapse I'm doing now. If it came out, here it is. Academy. 
<laughs> so, as Jed has just explained, for those of you on my academy, I'm going to do a video on how, on light painting uh, in the situation I'm in at the moment, which is up at Halnaka, because it's a really nice location and uh, relatively quiet. Uh, although there are quite a few people up and down to be fair but we're going to get some lights out I've got various bits and pieces let me show you this oh, so I've got my light wand which is an LED beast I take these everywhere I've actually got two but I only bought one with me tonight I also have with me oh, let's have a look <gasps> the secret weapon fairy lights hey and if you're into Star Wars, and you know I am, I got some what look like lightsabers, and you've seen me use all these before uh, in various videos in the past, along with a very, very, very strong torch, onwards and upwards. So I'm going to be recording video for my uh, academy tonight on light painting, how to light paint, and get as much done as I can before I lose the light, explain everything. So if you're not part of my academy, get on there quick, because once this video goes on there, obviously the price is going to go up. La 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 all that kind of stuff uh, so if you're interested in my academy get on there now by the way there's a link for the academy in the description of this video what you see uh, behind me obviously is cloud cover on the horizon it is now sunset Whoosh. and there's no sunset there's a bit of uh, uh, oh, my camera's about to knacker there's a bit of uh, colour in the sky way over yonder because there's quite a bit of mist and stuff on the horizon which is uh great but that's not in our background anyway so it doesn't really matter so i've done a nice time lapse of before sunset which actually worked out pretty good i hope uh you would have seen that already uh but for this vlog it's pretty much overdone with i'm hanging around because i'm going to do some light painting stuff that stuff is going to go onto my landscape photography academy so if you're interested in joining that that is an online landscape photography academy it's a mentorship i could work with you no matter where you are in the world it's fantastic have a look at the link in the description uh, if you've got any comments about today's uh, vlog please leave me a message down below in the comments always happy to read people's thoughts and feelings about my vlogs and uh, keep them constructive if you can that'd be fantastic uh, so if you did get anything out of this video please whack a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get updates every time I upload a new video. That would be fantastic. And until the next one, God knows where it's going to be. We're at Haunaka today. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Hi, I'm Andy and I'm here to tell you about my new online landscape photography academy. It's not your traditional online photography course, it's also a mentorship program. Many of you most likely know me from my YouTube channel. And if you enjoy my process of getting an awesome image from the landscape around me, you can learn to do that too. So, how does it work? After signing up for the Landscape Academy, you will immediately receive access to all lectures taking you through every aspect of landscape photography. From beginner courses, through to intermediate, and onto the more advanced photographic techniques. At the end of each lecture, you'll be provided an assessment to progress you through the steps of creating an appealing image from beginning to end. After submitting each assignment, you will receive a handcrafted personal feedback video on your progress, giving you actionable steps to take your work to the next level. These mentorship sessions continue as you build your skill set from beginner to advanced landscape photography. By the time you finish the course, you will have hours of personal video feedback crafted especially for you. Additionally, the entire Landscape Academy is self-paced and you have a lifetime access to all of the content. So there's no need to worry about deadlines or losing access to the content after an arbitrary amount of time. You may want to skip the beginner one course if you have a basic understanding of photography and a good grasp of camera settings. But if you're an absolute beginner, fear not, this course is designed to get you started from scratch. If you want to sign up and get more information, just click the link below or check out the Academy link on my website.